A good budget gaming keyboard is quite hard to find, so I've, I've bought them all to, to see which one is the best one. We're gonna be going through all of these different keyboards, going from cheapest to expensive, and we're gonna be putting them into a giant tier list so we can find the best one. Also got a little bit of a giveaway at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's move on to the $1 keyboard. Hope none of these are broke. But yeah, let's start off with the $1 keyboard. Now you can find a keyboard like this online for about $1, however, don't buy it on Amazon because they completely overcharge you for it. Now the reason why it's so cheap is because well, it's literally like just a silicon keyboard. Now this has got some terrible cons with it regarding the fact that it just, it feels absolutely terrible. We plug it in, does it even work? Hang on. Oh, it does, it, it does work. I don't really think I should be using this thing to play Fortnite on, but I mean, it's working. It honestly feels a little bit like typing on your phone. I mean, the positives of this keyboard is that you can roll it up and I guess put it in your pocket to take with you, but I don't know where you would really do that. I mean, what keyboard can do this? On the plus side, it probably ain't gonna break if you smash it. Let's try moving around. Oh God, this feels bad. I won't lie, it is usable though. Oh God, it actually really hurts to like try and sprint at the same time. Yeah, don't use this for gaming, but I guess if you're on the go traveling and you desperately need a keyboard, this could work. It is quite bad, but I think it has its uses and it is very, very cheap. So we're gonna put this one in a C, I think. Okay, next of all, moving on to the $5 keyboard. We're moving up a level here. Again, this is something you can't really buy directly off Amazon. It comes in this like keyboard mouse headset bundle thing that you can buy for like $20. But if you desperately want one of these keyboards, it's probably gonna cost you like $5 off like Teamu or something. So let's take a look at this. Now starting off, I will say it is quite cheap. Like, like look at the flexibility in that. Like that's kind of crazy. Honestly, it doesn't feel too bad for like a $5 keyboard. Now you can tell this is a gaming keyboard just from the fact that it's got the WAS and D keys highlighted right there. Honestly, like for $5, this isn't too bad. It's got some RGB as well, which I guess for a gaming keyboard makes it better. Two little nice kickstands as well, because adding a five degree angle on a keyboard is gonna make all the difference when I'm gaming. I wonder what these shortcuts do. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So, oh, email, search. So it has got some little shortcuts here that I kind of would use in like everyday scenarios. Honestly, it feels all right. All go, oh, I've broke it already, brilliant. Oh, okay, don't take the space bar off because Ever since I've took that off, it's started to be a bit weird. But you know what, for $5, this isn't too bad. It prob Okay, I didn't mean to bend it that much. I think I broke it a little bit. Honestly, this thing isn't too bad. And plus when you buy it, you also get like all of these things included with it. So I'm gonna put this $5 one in a solid B tier. Like it's very good value for the money. Okay, next we're moving on to $10. Right here, we got the Lysander Gaming Keyboard UK. For some reason, I don't know why it says UK on it. Maybe this is only available in the UK. Some of its key features, it says, is LED backlighting, 19 anti-ghosting keys. So only 19 of the keys are anti-ghosting, which means all the other ones are. That is a weird thing to put on your keyboard. The number pad is apparently one of the crazy features of this keyboard. Works with a PC and Mac, it's comfortable, and it's USB connection. Honestly, I just think they're trying to slap as many features as possible onto the packaging of this keyboard. I'm surprised they haven't got another box here saying it's made out of plastic. Let's unbox this thing. This one does feel a bit nicer. The keys are a bit more out there. Oh, yo. Okay, so the RGB on this one is quite bright. I won't lie, this one's pretty nice. I don't think it has any RGB features, however, Sounds pretty good. Okay, yeah, this one is a lot nicer to use. Okay, I'm getting shot at. I don't have a weapon, okay. I do have building materials though. I don't really play on keyboard or mouse too much. So this is gonna be quite difficult. Oh my God, they're shooting at me. Okay, I was able to escape because this keyboard is not too bad actually. For $10, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. It does feel a little bit cheap. However, it does feel good value for the money. The lights are brighter on this keyboard. It feels a little bit better. However, there are no shortcuts everywhere. And also there's like these little random screws that kind of really mess up the design. I think the only option with the LEDs is to turn them off or to turn them on. I think this keyboard is exclusively made for gaming because there's no shortcuts on here or whatever. However, for $10, it's good. I just don't think it's as good as the $5 one. Like I think the $5 one is a little bit more better for the money. Slap bang in the middle. We're putting this thing in seat here. Okay, now we're moving on to $15. Oh, what have we got here? This thing looks like a beast. We got the Torak PC laptop illuminated keyboard, gaming mode, anti-ghosting, metal body. Okay, this thing's made out of metal. This thing should be good then. Slide this baby out. Ooh, oh wow, okay. Already from just taking this thing out, this thing actually feels very high quality. You gave me a little sticker as well, just in case I wanted to promote them anymore. Don't wanna. Oh, this feels 
Very good. They've given us an absolutely huge cable, just in case we, we needed a huge cable. And I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, the LEDs are kind of bright. That's pretty good. It's heavy. It doesn't move around a lot. I think they've got like some rubber on here as well, which is pretty nice. Again, we've got some nice little flaps here. They do feel a lot more high quality. And I do think as well, yeah, this has some different LED options as well. Oh yeah, okay. This does have shortcuts as well, which is amazing. I like this key. I really like this keyboard, you know? They feel nice to press. It's pretty well illuminated. Nice design. I can see why they were advertising metal body it really does make a difference the keycaps are quite easy to remove just in case you wanted to clean this thing hard to put back in oh my god come on i see the fact that this is only 15 dollars kind of amazes me because it feels a lot more higher quality it's a very good keyboard for the price so i think for that reason i'm gonna put it in a tier next keyboard okay next up we're moving on to 25 dollars now you might be thinking to yourself this isn't a very big keyboard well my friends this isn't a normal keyboard it's a one-handed keyboard. This is from Sh Shipadu. Shipadu, that's a weird company name. First impression, oh, this is annoying. Okay, so first of all, the, the USB cable isn't that long, which is kind of annoying. Now, basically, this keyboard is specifically designed just for gaming. Every single one of these keys looks like it's programmable. So the design of it feels comfortable, but the, like, the quality of the materials, like it just, it feels so cheap and it, doesn't sound good. But let me just compare it to the $15 keyboard and you'll see what I mean. Like, it just doesn't sound good. I could see why something like this could be very, very useful. However, I think it's just because of the quality of this one that will bring it down as a whole. Like I've seen a few of these online and they go for usually about $50 to $70. So I think for that sort of price, you probably could get a very good version of one of these. But for 25, I wouldn't buy it. This is going in E tier. Okay, now we've got first big brand in here. This is the Razer Sinosa. I, I, th I think that's how you say it. And I believe this is the cheapest gaming keyboard that Razer do. Now this keyboard is priced at $30. However, there are a lot of deals online, especially occurring near like Black Friday where you can get this thing for like $18. Now I'm expecting this thing to be good as it is Razer. Let's pop this thing open, see how it does. Okay, yeah, so the packaging is a bit nicer on this one. Okay, yeah, so first of all, does feel pretty nice. Nice long cable as well. We got one of these. Always appreciate them putting a, a cap over my USB. I don't know why they do that because I never ever like reuse them and put them back on. Let's plug this thing in. Okay, so the LEDs, very, very subtle. Like these LEDs are right now on max brightness and you can barely just see them. Honestly, it feels all right, but I, I just don't think it's like a crazy gaming keyboard. I think if you found this thing on offer, it's probably worth $18 but not 30. Everything is programmable, but it, for me, that doesn't really give it any extra points. Oh God, okay. Oh God, why is everyone trying to shoot me? Did I get killed by an AI? Yeah, I did. Yeah, overall, like it, it feels okay, but I ain't nothing to shout about. So sorry, Razer, you're going in D. Now we're stepping it up a notch because this next keyboard, oh my God, I think it, I think it has everything. Okay, I, I did not know this, but They've included a goddamn mouse mount in here as well, which I'm not, I'm not complaining about. I didn't, I didn't realize that came with the, the keyboard, but I'm not, I'm not complaining. Okay. Oh my God, they've included a mouse as well. What? I honestly swear down to you, I did not know this thing came with a mouse and keyboard, but it feels a little bit cheap, but it feels all right. So we use it and see what this, wait, what's it got here? Adjustable wrist. Are these like for your wrist? Oh my God, they've given me so much stuff for $40. Let's just see what the mouse looks like. I mean, it's got this like weird wheel that you can't use. It's got two thumb buttons. That one's kind of nice. It's got adjustable DPI that works, which is good. I mean, it's all right. I'm not complaining that it comes in the box, but let's move on to the main attraction. Oh yes, okay. So immediately, oh, that feels, oh, that is nice. So I'm guessing this clips onto there with just magnets. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to screw anything in that just, Pops right there. Oh, yo! Immediately, it comes straight out the box with like some crazy RGB options. Honestly, this this feels high quality. It does feel high quality, but then again, I would expect it to for $40. Honestly, when I press down on the keys, it feels nice, it feels very cushioned. The keys feel very, very high quality, but also, the, the body of the keyboard feels nice and solid. Now the reason why the keyboard is a kind of a weird shape 
It's not It's not because this finger's a handle or anything. It's actually because this finger's a, uh, well, it's, it's supposed to be a phone holder, but um, uh, how, how am I gonna do this? So, you know, just in case you wanted to stick your Subway Surfers gameplay there or whatever. It's also got some pen holders as well, but I haven't got a pen, so I'm just gonna put a screwdriver there, but I, I don't know who the hell's gonna use this feature. I could see that being useful with like an office keyboard, but this is, this is a, literally a gaming keyboard. It's got some cool features, very high quality. I do think this is worth $40, but I don't think it makes the S tier. So for me, I'm gonna put this thing in A tier. It's very good, but it also just does have some weird features. Okay, now we're moving on to the big one, the Razer Sinoza version two. So this is actually the upgrade to the $30 keyboard that we reviewed earlier. And it says here, it's the number one selling gaming membrane keyboard in the US. Doesn't say anything about the UK though. Now, before I unbox this, I do wanna say I did buy a few more of these to give away. I'm just putting that out there, all right? Like and subscribe and comment. Okay, so first things first, this is a very, very small feature that I like. I don't know if you can see this, but the tape has like an arrow on it, which is kind of easy to unbox. The little things. Yeah, this unboxing feels very nice. Take it out. Cable feels good. Comes with a little cable organizer. Already on the back, you can see that it has some built-in cable management features. So if you want to thread the cable down the middle, the left or the right, you can do that. Okay, now I know why this is the upgraded version. They've got two versions of little step things that you can have on the back. That surely has got to be worth the $50 it cost. Again, it's got a nice little cap for some weird reason. I want to say as well, the one thing I do like about Razer products is that they always make their like USBs green. I really like that. Okay, let's plug it in. Oh, okay. The RGB is looking a lot nicer. Typing on it feels good. Like it's what you expect for a membrane keyboard. I won't lie though, compared to the $15 one, I like I like the $15 one more. But let's just see what features this thing has because you know, we could be jumping the gun a little bit. The LEDs on it are very nice. I will give it that. It does very much feel like a gaming keyboard. Gamer mode here, which is, I, I, don't, I don't know what that does. It has a load of different options here. It does feel like an upgrade to the Sinoza. It's got some nice media controls here, but this thing here is a pure gaming keyboard. The one thing I will say about it, it is good. Don't think it's worth $50 though. I kind of feel bad now that I've got five of these. Hey, listen, they are, they are good. It is a good keyboard. I just personally wouldn't buy one myself. Like quite honestly, I think the best one was the $15 keyboard. Can we can we move that up to S tier? Like for $15, I think this was a crazy keyboard. Like this thing's weighty, it feels good. The keys are really nice to press. Now that we've reviewed all the different gaming keyboards, this is the final tier list. And I think that's quite a good tier list to be honest with you. I think with keyboards, if you really, really want a good one, you're probably gonna have to spend a bit more than $50. But if you are gonna go with a budget one, go with this $15 one. If you do want to see me do a video testing out the more expensive keyboards, leave a like and I'll try and make that happen. Other than that, it's been very fun reviewing these keyboards. I'll see you in the next one.